It's Jordan Collins <laughs> here with Simbox, and I'm delighted to be joined by British Cruiserweight contender Jack Massey. First of all, mate, how's it going? Yeah, not too bad, mate. I'm all right, ready for Saturday. Uh, just down in the bubble now in the hotel. So just chilling in the room, waiting for my test results to get back tomorrow morning. So yeah, just all chilled. So you've been out of the ring for coming up to nearly a year now. How have the last 12 months been for you, yeah. both physically and mentally? Yeah, it's been hard both. Um, you know, I've, I've kept training all year long, um, you know, doing what I can whilst we was in lockdown, you know, still running. Just a lot of swimming and stuff like that, uh, keeping fit and staying ready. Um, but yeah, mentally it's been hard. Um, but you know, I can't complain. A lot of people have had it a lot worse than me. You know, losing jobs and and, and family members and stuff like that. So you know, I can't complain. I'm just happy I've got a got a fight in this year. So would you say it's been difficult to keep the motivation up, knowing that during these uncertain times, it's not always a given that you're going to be fighting. Yeah, it was. It was from the start, um, from the first lockdown from March, because we didn't know when we was coming out of it or whatever. So it, it was. It was pretty hard. It was pretty tough then. But when the boxing came back on and that started, um, you know, there was a little bit of a silver lining there, and you know, we, um, was, you know, felt like we was going to get out. So it's a bit better. Is there always that element in the back of your mind that you need to keep fit and sharp? I'm ready just in case uh, an opportunity does arise with boxers dropping out. Yeah, definitely. Absolutely. You know, it's, especially in the times now, you, you don't know what's around the corner, you know. You know, like some of these guys, it's, you know, it's happened where they've tested positive and then you might get a phone call up for, you know, for a big title, major title shot. So you've got to stay ready for that sort of thing. You know, you know that phone call could just happen overnight. So And... Obviously, the fight's been sorted for this weekend. You're on the Dubai Joyce card. Um, last time out was your first defeat against uh, Riakpo. Um, in a fight, many had you down yeah. as winning. Um, what was that like coming off the back of that, obviously, result? Um, to be honest, I didn't take it that bad, to be honest. Um, a lot of, I had a lot of support after it. You know, Obviously, it was a bit controversial. A lot of people were saying I should have won it. Um, but you know, I took it as what it was. Um, took the experience from it. You know, a good solid twelve rounds. So I've got all that under my belt. So that's that. You know, it's great experience. And um, yeah, took that away from it really. And being in front of a big crowd and you know under the lights on the main event. So was there um, like a post-match analysis, like post-fight analysis? What did you go over? watch the fight back, go over some bits to see where the improvement was? Or was it a case of wanting to recover and go again to put it right? Pretty much a case of wanting to recover and go again. Um, we did have a little look at it. Um, but yeah, that was pretty much go again. Um, this weekend, you're fighting Muhammad Ali Bayat Farid. Um, have you done your homework? Do you know much about him? Yeah, I've done a bit, yeah. I uh, watched a few videos on YouTube. Um, you know, obviously his record's 18 fights, 16 wins by 16 knockouts. So obviously he can punch a bit. Um, he's got one, one loss and one draw. So yeah, good. Um, you know, he looks, he looks a good guy on record and uh, comes to fight. So I can imagine it'll be a good explosive fight for the fans at home watching. And you mentioned that the fight, um, the fans at home watching, Obviously, there'll be no fans in the actual um, arena itself. Is that something that will phase you? Are you more of a fans getting in front of the fans and fighting there? Or Yeah, to be honest, I absolutely buzzed off it last time at your call. Um, you know, it's one, one of them places where I've always wanted to fight. It's my first time there. And, and the atmosphere in there is, is seconds and on. You know, it's like people up on the tiers, like on top of you. Um I've done it before with no crowds. Um, you know, I've been on a live floater. Um, and then being on after, um, it was a Frampton fight and hardly anyone was there. It was just my fans. So, and back in the amateur days, you know, sometimes on the shows, back then there was hardly anyone there. So I've done it before. It, it, it won't phase me at all, but it's it's quite nice to know the viewing rates will be, um, you know, pretty spectacular for this fight. 
especially with um, the especially for the main, the main yeah the main event so that's um, that's pretty exciting knowing that you know a lot of people will be watching and all my fans will be watching back home so that uh, spurs me on a little bit more as well you mentioned that um, Bayer has 16 wins um, all coming by way of knockout albeit against lesser opponents um, is his power something that you've looked at as a potential threat while training yeah, I think so, a little bit. Um, you know, he favours that left up. Um, you know, he's, he he obviously can bang. Um, you know, obviously some of these guys, like you say, are lesser opponents, but some of them are, you know, durable. I've been in with some durable opponents. And sometimes, you know, journeymen and stuff like that, they're hard to get out of there. Um, so, you know, obviously he can bang a bit. Um, but, yeah, I've had a little look at him and, we don't really want to be inside mixing it up with him if we don't need to. So, obviously, you're situated within a very busy domestic cruiserweight division. Um, if you do win Saturday, what do you see as the next step for you? Is it a case of wanting another fight and then a title fight, or is it straight for a title fight? No, straight onto a title fight. Looking at next year, early next year, straight to a title fight. Whatever's there. Um, you know, British, Commonwealth, European, you know, different routes, doesn't matter. We'll, um, you know, major title early next year, so that's what we're looking at straight into the title. Finally, obviously, we've mentioned you're on the Dubois Joyce main event card. Can we get a prediction yeah, for that fight? Card. Yeah, I'm going to go with Dubois um, stoppage. Don't know what round, but I'm going to go for Dubois stoppage, yeah. Going to be a good fight, though, good explosive fight, but yeah, I'm going for Dubois. Right. Thank you very much for your time, Jack. We'll be no problem, you mate. Thanks for having me All on. All the best for Saturday. Thank you, mate. Appreciate it.